Today, we're going to be unboxing a Breadwinner brand soda can aluminum snare drum. Breadwinner is a small custom drum shop out of Nashville, Tennessee. Right now, they offer only snare drums made out of various types of metal, bronze, brass, aluminum, copper, some nice looking drums. What's interesting, Breadwinner refers to their snare drums as loaves, like loaves of bread. Some other companies are calling their drums circles, which I guess is the new snare drum vernacular. Like, hey man, check out my new circle. Whatever, I, I still call them snare drums. I don't know the good people over at Breadwinner. I don't work for them. I simply came across their product on Instagram. Looked really nice. So I decided to try one out. As we know, soda cans are made out of aluminum. I don't think this drum is made out of soda cans, but who knows? Snare drums comprised of aluminum shells are perhaps counterintuitively not high pitched or metallic or tinny. In fact, the opposite is true. They're rather dry and on the lower side. Uh, perhaps the most famous aluminum snare drum is the Ludwig Acrylite, which I guess came to prominence in the 1960s uh, to this day. And having played one recently, I was actually in the market for one, uh, but instead decided to go with this. Try something different. So let's take a look at the box. Shipped from Nashville, and as you can see, a U-Haul box. Uh, again, very light. I guess that's the nature of aluminum. Let's take a look at the soda can aluminum snare drum. A oh, couple different layers of tape. Let's see how it's packed. Reused box. Somebody else's return address on here. But that's okay. Hey, I'd rather them spend their money on their product and maybe their advertising versus uh, fancy labeled boxes. Some nice bubble wrap. Ooh, a nice note. Gregory, we hope you enjoy this fine soda can and that it helps bring home the bread. End of Red Quarters transmission. Oh, that's a very nice note. Thank you, guys. All right, let's take a look. Some more bubble wrap, some paper, and here it is. Got a scissor here. Careful not to scratch the new circle. Oh, wow, look at this. Some plastic wrap. Very nice. Looks like brushed aluminum. Oh, okay, so this is a 14 by 6. Most acrylite snares that I mentioned before are 14 by, by 5 or 5 and a half. Remo coated ambassador head. Evans Orchestral 300 snare bottom. Look at this piece of work. Ooh, a nice, beautiful logo on it. Look at this breadwinner. That looks like that's a leather logo. Okay, I printed out some notes about the drum from the breadwinner website. A one millimeter thick aluminum shell, as we know. A little thicker than a soda can, right? A 1.6 millimeter triple flange hoops. 10 brass tube lugs. I guess this is chrome plated brass, these lugs here. Cast throw and butt plate. Pretty smooth throw. Uh, and 16 strand German wire. Okay. Let's try it out. All right. Now the moment I think we've both been waiting for. Let's see here. We're pretty in tune. Yeah, it's got decent tuning right out of the box. We can leave it as is. Very sensitive. Oh, it sings, man. Throw some dampening on it. I like using the snare weight. Gives you various options and doesn't really deaden the snare too much. That's not about medium tuning, and it hits you right in the chest. You can really feel that air. Yeah. 
Good job, breadwinner. I'll take it. Thank you.